Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be answering a viewer question about balance in relationships when it comes to money. another viewer question thank you viewer Wait, I'll put down our email here if you guys want to send us a topic idea that we can have our commentary on or if you just have kind of a question so anyways I'm gonna read his question and I just lost it okay all right so he says um can there be a balance in a relationship or marriage if you are with someone that makes much more money than you do and a second part is, can there be balance in a relationship or marriage if you are with someone that makes way less money than you do? Okay. So, um, good question. Interesting topic. You know why it's an interesting topic? Because I feel like it, it is a bigger topic than just about the money. Like men naturally want to be the leaders and want to be the one to make the money and want, you know, Naturally, they were supposed, they're supposed to want to do that, right? So when they don't, it gets a little odd, mm -hmm. right? So can there be balance? I think that's, it's hard for there to be, if a woman's making more money than a man, her husband, um, I think that's going to be a problem later on. Right. Anytime I know someone, I guess I use examples. Mm -hmm. So I, I've known people, married couples and that, that where a woman makes more than her, her husband mm -hmm. and it's all fine and good in the beginning, but then she starts to feel like too much of the leader mm -hmm. and then he's not having any lead role and a lot, a lot of um, leadership with men comes with how they provide. Mm -hmm. And so when a man is being um, overpowered by a woman in the financial department, mm -hmm. it becomes kind of a conflict. Right. Some sometimes I can't really say as for everybody, but I do feel like sometimes I think sometimes I think that women don't tell the truth. Yeah. On what they want in relationships, I think majority of women just really would like to be, mm -hmm. you know, um, led. Like yeah. they like to have a leader. I know I would like to have a leader. Yeah. I hope I said all that right. I feel like no, I, was I mean, that, yeah. That I think that I have. I have for a lot me, of I, ha I feel like I my. My husband has to, will have to be the leader, leader because I naturally have leadership qualities. Right. I do. You know what I mean? But I want my husband to make more than me. Me too. I also want my husband to be more ambitious than me. Right. And I um I, I like, like I said before, I think it says in one of our videos, I like looking up mm -hmm. to my to, husband. Yeah. I like the idea of looking up to a man. Yeah. Because I feel like, well, I mean, if you're a leader, yeah. you will have that, that honor. But mm -hmm. I feel like I like learning from men learning new yes. things and you know i like men who are who are leaders and know what they want mm -hmm. and uh feel confident in their role mm -hmm. as um as the lead right you know what i mean they don't feel like they um they feel like they can handle it yes they like they got you sort of yeah thing. Like, it's right. okay i got you i can right. handle it because right. on some level and I know it's 2020 and I know a lot of people like to go right back to, oh, women are just like men and, they, you know, they make just as much. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at look at all these celebrity women. They make just as much, much as their money, men. Yeah. But I can bet you that even in those situations, those men make, make way more, more money. Than, you know, I mean, I think Beyonce is worth 400 million. Jay-Z is Jay worth a billion. billion. So you know what I mean? they always so make sure that that right, that he's somewhere. I, I know like it's just the dollars, but, but for men who like, are. Um, Alpha males, yeah, they they don't they they crave that right that sort of leadership that sort of follow me sort of right you know attitude they don't want a competition with especially someone mm -hmm. when they've got to live with right and that can happen right if you guys are calling yourself equal now in my opinion I don't think men and women are equal this is why I don't like feminism this because is I what, don't think yeah. that men and women it opens are up equal. a whole other conversation right. I also yeah. don't I don't think men and women are equal and I don't think it was ever meant for us to be I think that's yeah. why we uh, right. that's why we're um, that's why we attract to each yeah. other because we are different. We mentioned this before. And when you try to make us the same, yeah, I think you can run into a lot of problems, right? Because, like they say, there can't be two captains. There can't, can't be, be two cooks in the, the kitchen. kitchen, right? You know what I mean? Somebody has to take the lead. Now, surprisingly, we, so we've mentioned this before in previous videos. As I don't even remember what videos it was, but it's a long time ago. And surprisingly, a lot of women kind of agreed with this. Mm -hmm. um, business women. 
because <laughs> there's something with women where no matter how accomplished we are in life, no matter how much money we make, mm -hmm. um, no matter how high up uh, in, in business that we do, I'm sorry, it's okay, business that we do, um, there is a part of us that still wants to essentially mm -hmm. be in, be taken care of. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, um, it's just the nature of a woman. You know what I mean? It's the nature of a woman. Mm -hmm. And it's not a weak... See, I don't want people... See, a lot of times women that don't agree with this will think that sounds like a weak... Like you put yourself in a weak position. But it's just not. It's just... Um, to me, it's the nature of a woman. Mm -hmm. I feel like we just kind of want to be protected and provided for. Mm -hmm. And I don't... And I think that men... Um, want to be the ones protecting and providing, mm -hmm. right? I think that's what helps them feel like men. That's what makes them different. It's like right. what Kara was saying is, is that we aren't equal. Men and women are not equal to me. And mm -hmm. I don't even mean that in a bad way. We both have mm -hmm. great strengths that we both need mm -hmm. from each other. It's just that when people say, you know, that we're, that we're equal, we should be treated equal. You should be treated equal mm -hmm. in a work atmosphere. If you're, if you're, you know, the head, head of something, you know what I mean? If you're working somewhere, you guys both have the same position and you guys both came in at around the same time, you know what I mean? And you're, you're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And the only difference is that you are a woman and this is a man. He's going to pay more and you're getting paid less. That is completely ridiculous. And that mm -hmm. should not happen. That's where you know, um, the feminism stuff comes in when it comes to, um, to me, I feel like it's more with work. Mm -hmm. When I think about feminism, I'm thinking more with work and pay and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but I don't, I don't think that we were supposed to meant to be, to be equal. Now the person that wrote this is a male. So I'm gonna try to put it in your perspective. Cause I don't know if that's the position that you're in. I'm not sure, but it's a male that wrote this. And if you are with a woman that makes more money than you, Mm -hmm. Or if you're thinking about dating a woman that makes more more mm -hmm. money than you, um, I guess I would have to know you more personally. But right. I I do feel that as a man, that's gonna eventually that's going to bother you. Right, <laughs> it is because you know what's gonna have to happen when women are put in a position or in a position where they're doing better than you financially, they do have to take the lead. Mm -hmm. So now they have to have a masculine role in the relationship. Mm -hmm. They have to. Right. They don't have a choice because they have to get them to go to work and do this and do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So they have to do that. And they're they're bringing in most of the income. Mm -hmm. So that means that you're going to have to take a step back. And most men mm -hmm. do not want to do that. They don't right. want to take that step back because you guys are men. Mm -hmm. You guys want to be the leader of things. And, and, and I want to grant you guys that. Right. You know what I mean? So I don't know if... If you're okay with that, if that's what you're saying, you didn't mm -hmm. really, you, you kind of had like a general question. It's probably not even about you. You just had a general question, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think, you tell me, I mean, you're a guy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Most men that I know that are alpha males are like, oh, hell no. I don't want my, right. <laughs> there's no way I want my woman to be um, paying for stuff all the time mm -hmm. and making more money than me. A man, an a alpha male is always going to want to trump all of that. Right. Because he's trying to take care. He's trying to hold it down. It makes him feel good mm -hmm. that he's holding stuff down, you know? Yeah, I think for me, it's never, like I was telling you before, it's never about the money for me. It's about the yeah. mindset. A hundred percent. It's always about the mindset. Mm -hmm. When a man wants to take care of me, there's a part mm -hmm. of, there's, there, there is this, um, there is this, this feeling of protection and yeah. a feeling of safe. Right. I'm safe with you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you care about the way I, you know, you care about the way I live. Mm -hmm. You want me to have the nice things. Yeah. You want me, you want to take care of me. You want to make sure I have all of my needs. Yeah. So that's part of the protecting vibe that yeah. I get from me. When a man wants to make me his equal, then I don't feel, I feel like we're the same. Yeah. And when I feel like the, when we're, the, when I start feeling like we're the same, I don't see you as a leader anymore. And if mm -hmm. I don't see you as a leader anymore, this is going to sound really bad. I can't respect you. It's hard. It's hard for me to find the respect for you. But y'all have seen you know these relationships. Mean? I'm not though. saying that yeah. a man who want this like sort of equal uh, footing. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they don't. Des you know, I'm not saying you don't. Um, because there are women that like that. You know what I mean? So there. So I'm not saying that it can't happen. Mm -hmm. But for me, I mean, I can only speak for myself. But yeah. I mean, for me, I have to be able, like I said, mm -hmm. I have to be able to look up to you. I have to be able to respect you in that way, mm -hmm. where I feel like you are the lead or our house. You, yeah. you're the leader. You're, you, you know, you do the. You, the um the the really the the taking i'm the nurturer yeah you know what i mean you make sure the house is safe i've been in a but, but you know, i've had been a, you're absolutely right about that i mean i've been in a relationship where 
uh, extended relationship mm -hmm. where I did make more money than the person that I was with. I have too. Yeah, yeah. and I've actually taken care. I have too. Yeah. I, I, so <laughs> we've actually been in this position where we've mm -hmm. actually taken care of men. Mm -hmm. And so what's happened <laughs> is that because we were the money makers, mm -hmm. we were the bank, right? Um, not even that they were lazy. Like the person I was with was not mm -hmm. lazy. He worked. He worked, but I was making more money and it it became an issue mm -hmm. because he didn't feel accomplished. Mm -hmm. Eventually it, it, it did kind of mess us up right. because um, as a man, he has to feel like he's able to mm -hmm. um, take care of me as a woman, mm -hmm. you know, and um, he wasn't solely able to do that. And mm -hmm. I was never pressuring him to do that. I just right. kind of like live my life and it's whatever, mm -hmm. you know, um, that, but that was back a long time ago mm -hmm. where I wasn't understanding the, the dy dynamics between, mm -hmm. between man and woman. You know what I mean? Like I always felt like, well, you know, you're with this guy now and mm -hmm. you've always taken care of everything. So, you know, if a guy comes in here and starts taking care of you, then he's going to start running yeah. the show. And you know, it's like, that's a complete wrong mentality. But you, you made a good point though. Remember mm -hmm. you said there are four types of men. Oh yeah. I was... really did like this actually. So yeah. So my, I have a whole philosophy. I talked to my friend about this, a friend of mine about this, but I have a philosophy when it comes to um, uh, men in general. And there's four different types of men to me when it comes to subjects like this, there is, um, um, the male, the traditional male, the old school male who wants, um to he he wants to provide for his wife spouse girlfriend mm -hmm. whatever he wants to be the sole provider he does not want her to work mm -hmm. period then there's the male who are a man that uh is okay with his woman working right he doesn't, he doesn't care that she's working but he really doesn't want her money to be going towards any of the the bills yeah. and stuff he just as long as she's happy working it's fine mm -hmm. but he doesn't really necessarily he doesn't want her to be putting money towards the actual living expenses. Mm -hmm. Just have your job and be happy there. There's a third type of male. This is the one where he wants to have a um, two income household. He requires his woman to work. Like he thinks that having two incomes is better than just one. Mm -hmm. And that's just how he sees it splits. We're splitting everything here, mm -hmm. right? The fourth type of, of male. And this is the man that doesn't, uh, really want to work. Mm -hmm. He must really be a stay at home, whatever. Mm -hmm. Stay at home. Be the what do you call it? House husband. Yeah. You know what I mean? And stay at home. So those are the four different types of of, of men to me. And like in general, obviously we have a lot of this like gray area in there. Mm -hmm. But in general, those are four different types of men to me. And I feel like the first one is an alpha male, which is the one that I like. Mm -hmm. Right. The number one and one number two are alpha males, just in different ways. Number one requires you not to work at all. And you have to be mm -hmm. okay with that, right? And the other one, still an alpha male, he doesn't care if you work. Mm -hmm. and is not mad that you're working, um, but doesn't really want your your money to be part of any mm -hmm. kind of you know. So I kind of like those first two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the next two, to me, I just feel like. Well, first of all, the last one, where a man just doesn't mm -hmm. want to work at all, I think there's something wrong with men that don't want to work. Now, understand, I am not talking about men who are physically have a physical. Um, problem where they can't get yeah. up and go to work and pound the pavement. But I have to say, you mentioned this, that man, there's a man oh, who's... I forget his name. Yeah, well, he's I'll... Put, he's Australian. He says no arms and no legs. You know him. He's like a motivational speaker. Yeah, he's he, pretty famous. He's a pretty famous guy, but he has no arms, no legs. This man... He's a millionaire. This, this man Somehow. is incredible. And mm -hmm. not just because he's... It's his mentality. I mean, and he's married. He's married, married children, children. You know what I mean? And, and so, he, he, he is a strong alpha male. He has no arms, no legs, and is able to do the damn thing. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's not even like an issue to him. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, he wants it. Because as men, mm -hmm. they want it. So with no arms and no legs, he still is like... Still going to hold it down. Right. You know what I mean? And so I feel like when men don't have that mentality... When they don't, they feel like, oh, you know, I'm fine here. No, a woman can go to work. Mm -hmm. I do think that there's something um, wrong yeah. with their self-esteem. Now, if you're a man, you know? now, if I have a husband and he somehow loses his business, then I'm okay That's with different. taking that lead because now I know what kind of man you are. Yes. I know it's not going to stay yeah. that way. You That's know what I mean? Because, yeah, you're, right. because what I'm saying. It's not the money. It's the mindset. It's the mindset. Because if, as long as I know... Mm -hmm. that you are that person, mm -hmm. then it doesn't really matter. You'll get back yeah. and I'll, I'll be right there with you to help you. But when men come into a relationship sort of like um, 
depending, kind of depending on you yeah. for everything. It just is a turnoff to me. It is. You know what I mean? I can't get turned on by that. You right. know what I mean? And so, you know, it's funny. It's like I was watching Louis Farrakhan talk. We, mm. You know, the video we were watching. Right. And I don't really agree with Louis Farrakhan all the time. I think sometimes right. he's a little over the top. But this position I do agree with. Yeah. I think that... Um, he has a, a video. If I'm talking, able to post it, if I'm yeah. able to post it, I'll put it like, up yeah, put in, in the between when we're talking. Yeah. But he talks about um, the nature of a woman and the nature of a man. Mm -hmm. And he's saying that, he's basically saying that it is the nature of a man to want to mm -hmm. produce, yes. to provide, right. to create. And it is. And to to, to make money, mm -hmm. to, to be the leader. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it is the nature of a woman to want to help him. Yeah. But a woman can't help a man. He's saying, who's not doing nothing. Right. You have to do something because every time she's looking at you, she's trying to find you. Right. And I get that because that's what I'm saying about them. When he said that, mm -hmm. it spoke to me because that is how I, like I was saying, it's not the money, it's, it's the, the mindset. mindset. So when I'm when I'm dating men, when I'm dating with intention, yeah. I'm looking for you. I'm not right. looking for you to spend lots of money mm -hmm. on my date. I'm not looking, I'm looking for who you are as a man. I'm, I'm searching. And every woman on some level when she's dating a guy you know, with purpose, yeah. she's dating on purpose, you know what I mean? Or with purpose. Yeah. She's always looking for the man in you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of men will say, but my wallet isn't, isn't, um, why does manhood always be attached to our wallet? Well, it's, yeah. And the truth is, it's, it's not about the money. It's not, yeah. It's, it's about what the money, how the money right. makes Like I think Steve Harvey once said that there's not, there's not, there's no, because he likes gators. Right. Shoes. He, there's not a golf club that I can buy. There's not gators that I can buy. There's not a trip I can buy that can make me stand up straight like my wife can. Yeah. Because once you're a man and you take care of your family, yeah. that makes you hold your chest up. It's a different, it's a and different and you, feeling. And, but you know, when I, when I meet men mm -hmm. that are like that, they look they different. look like that. They, they look like they're about to, they look like they're about mm -hmm. to handle some stuff. Yeah. Like they look like they, if anything goes wrong, mm -hmm. they got it. Right. You know what I mean? And then that, that in turn makes women feel um, more um, uh, relaxed. We right. can relax a little bit and not feel like it all falls on our shoulders. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because everybody has their you know their their part. Their, everybody has their role in the relationship. So when mm -hmm. you ask the question like, it can there be balance? So we can't sit up here and say. You know, it, it's all wrong for everybody. It's because yeah. yeah, no, there's no balance at there's all. There's always an exception, and there yeah. always will be. So. Right, there's always an exception. So obviously, there's people out there who have relationships where somehow it, they're making this work. Um, but I do know plenty of women mm -hmm. that are holding down the fort at home, pretending they like because I know because they're saying it to me, mm -hmm. pretending that they're okay with holding down the fort, but really are secretly annoyed mm -hmm. that their man is not um, pulling in any cash, mm -hmm. any money, any anything. Really, and, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like um, she's having to take care of the whole household. Yeah. You know what I mean? These are women that are mothers, too. They're having yeah. to do the mother thing, too. So now we got a woman wearing 50 million hats and then the, the man not doing much. Right. So I, I did think that, I think that the, um, I think that a man's, um, uh, you know, a guy I dated once told me this. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, a man's self-esteem is in, um, within like their DNA, like mm -hmm. their self-esteem is built in mm -hmm. um, winning. Yeah, it's built in. I'm like, what do you mean, like winning? Like, what what is that? What are you saying? And then, but this you know, guy, but this guy told me. He said, you know, when if you notice, men love to look at like when they're in the corporate world or just in a job in general, they won't stop until they go real alpha mm -hmm. males till they get to the top because to the top they're always trying to mm -hmm. trump the next person right they're always trying to win right even when they're playing video games they're always trying to be the best at that mm -hmm. when they're playing just games right they're always trying there's a numbers thing with men where they got to see the numbers mm -hmm. and, they, and then if all that number goes that the big number goes away they're going to get out there and mm -hmm. make more you know right. what i mean and so i'm like really and they're like yeah so and see you have to understand that we weren't raised with a father mm -hmm. so uh we were raised with a single mom mm -hmm. so our thought process when it came to um men and my, men and money are mm -hmm. taking care of you know it's like we just always have like an independent mentality yeah. so we didn't know that right. um, men are supposed to be wanting mm -hmm. to work <laughs> and wanting to take care of you and wanting we didn't know that mm -hmm. so we went many many years just kind of taking care of men and being mm -hmm. the man ourselves. you know what I mean and then it wasn't until a little bit later when I started dating a little older in my 30s where I'm like oh like men like working mm -hmm. they like taking care of women mm -hmm. you know what I mean and 
I have, yeah. you know, like it, it, it brought some kind of comfort to me. So I'm like, well, God, you know, this whole time has been very stressful. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like Kara said, it's not, it's not necessarily, it's not about the, the dollar. I, I know we're talking about money, but it's not necessarily about the money. It is about the mindset. Yeah. I always had you a know? friend that, um, I once had a friend in New York and he was an old, he's an older man. And he said to me once, cause he was, his wife passed away, but they were together for like 35 years. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, I said, why do, why do you think, I think another girl asked the question. She was mm -hmm. that worked with us and she was just, oh, she's, she thought that having, um, bringing in money mm -hmm. would make, would take the pressure off of, off, off of men. And so he said <laughs> no. to her, no, you should never think that way. Mm -hmm. Here's why he said, because any man who doesn't want that pressure is afraid of his, um, yeah. he's a, is, a, is afraid, is, is insecure and afraid that he can't do it. Right. So you're not helping him right. by making, by feeding into that insecurity yeah. of not being right. a man. Yep. He's like, because when he's around other men, they don't let him off the hook. Nope. He's just like, so he's like, you know what I'm saying? He's just like, so you have to, he said, you have to always play the role of a woman. Mm -hmm. And you have to be yourself. Right. Because that is just yourself. Right. It is, you guys, this is yourself. You know, he's like, just because you guys have been fed these things mm -hmm. on television that women are yeah. supposed to be this way. He was just like, it's not true. You don't really want that, clearly. Because we're all talking yeah. about that. And all, all you all are talking like ladies. Yeah. You're not talking like that. Yeah. I was raised around women who did everything for men, like, everything, yeah. everything, yeah. like nothing, you know what I mean? It's hard, so, hard working women. When I was yeah. started dating, that was what I did. I, I felt that, um, if I was everything to a man, then that would, that it, would make me a better, the uh, take the slack off of him a right, little bit, which would make like, me no. more, um, I think it, I, or I thought it, it mm -hmm. made me more appealing. Right. Because now you don't have to do anything. You, right. you know, I'll do it. Yeah. But what I found many times and mm -hmm. most times is that men who that I did that with, mm -hmm. they cheated on me. Mm -hmm. They uh, they try they to were, find their manhood somewhere because else. Because they try to find it somewhere yeah, else. Right. But I didn't know that because when you're not raised with a father, who knows? I didn't yeah. know that. You know, yeah. I didn't have the example of a man at all. Right. You know, I, mean, I wasn't really close to my um, grandfather as much as I was my grandmother, but I was mm -hmm. close to all the women in my family. Right. You know what I mean? And all the women in my family were hard single workers. women or just hard workers. You know, and so... And we are. Right. <laughs> Karen and I, we're, we're hard. I mean, I don't apologize for that either. No. Like, our work ethic is... Karen, I have to say, I don't apologize for hard work because I'm just no, like, yeah, that. we're just hard just workers in general. But even so. when I'm a millionaire, mm. and I will be, yeah. <laughs> I still want my husband to have more, more than money. me. And I also <laughs> want him to be, um, me too. I still will follow him. Me too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I feel like mm -hmm. that's just a part of me that's that's female. That's yeah. a part of me that I still want, no matter what my checkbook mm -hmm. looks like, and you know, it's my a, bank account looks like. It's been, it really took men for me to change my mind about that mindset mm -hmm. because yeah. I was again back in the day I wasn't like that I mm -hmm. was just I was like the guy I was like the guy you know and it took men that mm -hmm. I they dated like in my mid-30s and some 40 you know 40s where it was they would tell me mm -hmm. like you're you're you've never been treated I had a guy tell me once he's, he's like I can tell that you have um taken care of a man before mm -hmm. and I can tell that you haven't been treated right that's one but then also that you haven't been introduced to an alpha and i'm like what is that mm -hmm. that sounds cool so but he said that he said you can tell you haven't been um treated like right and then not you haven't been introduced like to an alpha male mm -hmm. and he was so and i got to see all of yeah. what that meant that meant mm -hmm. that meant that <laughs> you don't open your wallet for nothing not in front mm -hmm. of him yeah. no sir you don't do that but at the same time um, a high level of kind of respect, you know what I mean? And it still made me feel protected in yeah. a way, you know what I mean? And, you know, I was just dating this person. Yeah. I wasn't even in a relationship with him, but, he, but, and that's not just him. Like there's yeah. a couple other guys I dated that were alpha males. I had mm -hmm. never in my life dated an alpha mm -hmm. male up until my, you know, later right. part of my years, my, my age, you know? And I'm like, gosh, this is so much more relaxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can take care of, I, we can take care of ourselves. Karen and I have been yeah. taking care of ourselves for total <laughs> independence. Total yeah. Independence. For years, we never mm -hmm. ask for handouts, we blah, 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 blah. Okay. We never do that. But there is something so, I feel like I'm, I can finally just kind of be like the female. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The female mm -hmm. that I am. So there is, for me in a relationship, that is a, it will be a ginormous imbalance mm -hmm. if my husband made less money than me or was you know took mm -hmm. care didn't take care i took more care of him than he did right. of me that would make me look at him differently mm -hmm. you know it just would it make right. me look at him differently and i don't you know 
I will talk to women about this because I don't know a lot mm -hmm. of women. Like you ever see when women say, "No, I got this." You know, we're, we you know we we make money together, and you know, mm -hmm. don't you think that after a while it's going to start to get on their nerves? Yeah, I feel like after a while a woman will be like. Mm -hmm. You know, like, when are you showing up? Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, like, you know, the same up. guy said to me once, or he was like, hey, you know, he said, he said, do you think that you could take care of a family all by yourself? Mm -hmm. And I said, he said, I said, um, yeah, I think I, he said, I think you could. Mm -hmm. He said, I could tell just by the way you work and stuff. I think you could. He said, now, what if you were dating a guy? And he said he couldn't. Could you really respect him knowing that you could? And he's and I said, oh, well, no. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, no. The answer would be no. Really he's like, because when he's, he said, I think, and that's like another part. Mm -hmm. I think Louis Farrakhan said that a man, a woman is always trying to, again, mm -hmm. find you, yeah. find where you, you find, find your ambition mm -hmm. to try to find that leadership quality. Yeah. In you, but well, she look can't at, help mm -hmm. you do nothing. Nope. But when a woman starts taking care of a man, it's, then you become her child. And, you and I agree with that. I, th I do agree with that. I think that women, when they start doing too much financially for a man, that you become their child. Mm -hmm. And then they start treating you. Mm -hmm. like a ch like a child yeah. and that's in our nature because we're nurturers so all of a sudden we start treating you like a baby yeah i did that i did not know i've done I've, that I've, you know tra i've treated a man like a and not meaning to yeah i just i just it's just your nature, the money right? i had the money i was the one that making the money so right. i took care of the situation you know what i mean but you know and i don't i don't blame him i'm gonna put myself in situation mm -hmm. but it's very eye-opening when you see a man that doesn't that, because i know it's low self-esteem yeah i know that when men are not mm -hmm. <laughs> when men are not ambitious mm -hmm. and they're not putting forth effort mm -hmm. and there's and it messes them up mentally mm -hmm. with the self-esteem so what they end up doing is stuff like sleeping around a lot you'll see a lot of broke mm -hmm. men a lot of broke men sleep around a lot yeah you know what i mean that's, I, that's absolutely it's a hundred percent true, true. You, you'll notice mm -hmm. that a lot of broke men sleep around a lot and the reason why and a theory that i have is i'm not saying i'm mm -hmm. no psychiatrist but um I think it's because they're 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 when men lack in the money department, mm -hmm. that's huge for them. Yeah, it's huge, so they have to make it up mm -hmm. in the other department. Yeah. So there's two things that men are All right good at. That's making money supposed to be, and you know, uh, getting women. Right. You know what I mean? That's 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 the two things they're supposed to be good at, right? So if one's lacking, the other one's got to they got to pick that up a little mm -hmm. bit. So I think that's what happens when you're broke. Broke men sleep mm -hmm. around, and women. Do, sleep around with them. Yeah. No, they're broke. I was I was once talking to a guy who's he's pretty successful. But anyway, I was saying, you know, it's so interesting because he was all about, you know, you know, taking care of me and mm -hmm. oh, you know, you should want that and you know, like I was like I do want that and I also said we had this real serious conversation. I said, well, I just think I deserve that and mm -hmm. I won't end up with any. I'll end up alone before I date somebody, <laughs> right. you know, who doesn't yeah. um, who doesn't make me feel um, good. Right. You know what I mean? That doesn't make me feel. He said, well, you you do deserve that. Yeah. You shouldn't want that. And every woman should feel that way. Just women don't. And I said, but it's interesting. I told him, I said, it's interesting because on um, Facebook and on um, social media, I said, a lot of men talk about having this two income household. And, um, and I wonder, is that, is that a thing? And he said, no. <laughs> he said, right. no, it's a thing. He said, but you have to understand that men on face they're on Facebook all day, aren't doing anything. Yeah. Because men who are working like me, you never see me. He said, are working, yeah. we're working, we're making deals, we're doing stuff with our life. We don't have time to sit around on Facebook yeah. all day, you know, posting. I've seen, you yeah, know, just like, see, you have to understand that when men, men who write that stuff, if they have time all mm -hmm. day to sit there and put stuff all on Facebook, mm -hmm. there's a part of them that has too much time. Right. Where you could be making an income, right. you could be making more money, you right. could be going out there. And he was just like, it's okay for women to really do it, because women, all well, they want to do is talk. Well, we, he was just run, like, we run our walls a little bit, it's mouth run our mouth. <laughs> he, said that, he said, that brings me to my next point, a man who t runs his mouth mm -hmm. too much yeah. is a female. <laughs> he was right. just like, because men don't talk a lot like that. Whenever, you know, I, they, whenever I talk to a guy who talks too much... I get annoyed, because I'm like, right. man, with the, it's, I can feel the imbalance of them. Mm-hmm. I can feel, I can feel it, see it. It's like, it's almost like it's just, it's written all over them. Right. Like you're, you, you talk too much. Mm -hmm. And and also a man who talks too much about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're talking too much and you talk about nothing, it's like, yeah, you're, there's a saying you're that insecure. In, yeah. And there's a saying that insecurity is loud. Yeah. Insecurity True. is very loud. That's facts. Right Confidence now. is usually quiet. Right. That's facts. You yeah. know, so I don't know. I, I thought that the, um, the question um, in general was, um, 
I think it depends on the person. There are a lot of women out mm -hmm. here that um, have been hurt by men, and so they don't want men to have any sort of financial power over them, them because yeah. they they fear because money's yeah. power. You know, money There's can be power, power, right? Yeah. So if a woman um, has been hurt, like you said, if a woman's mm -hmm. been hurt in her life by men, the last thing she's going to do mm -hmm. is give him right. access to finances to help her out because mm -hmm. that means that he's taken, he's going to. Well, in her head, right. topple her right. and just like take over her life. Right. You know what I mean? So she won't be able to find that's an imbalanced woman. But you know, yeah. that will be the only place that she'll be trying to beat you at. Yeah. It'll be just in general. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything. So it's not just the money. Yeah. She'll start making decisions without mm -hmm. you. She'll start, you know, taking over and mm -hmm. then you won't like that. So I don't know. I think to me, men have always been, mm -hmm. you know, sort of the the strength, the backbone yeah. of the relationship, you know, and women are sort of the soul. Yeah, it, you know what I mean. So can the can heart woman, and soul of the relationship. So do yeah. do. I always think just because you can doesn't mean you should. Right. Yeah. Me too. You know, it's like the whole proposing to a man. Just because you can doesn't really mean that you. But should. that's another thing that shows you know? disease. But even that, don't you think? When 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 women propose to men, mm -hmm. y'all. When women propose to men, it's like it, it almost makes me cry. Mm -hmm. And not happy tears because I'm just thinking, what happened here? I just think that I think that every I think that both sexes mm -hmm. have roles. Yeah. I do, and the roles can be fluent somewhere. Mm -hmm. it, it can. It doesn't mean that you have to totally stick to this. No, some people cook and clean, and you know, are, like there are the alpha females. Yeah, yeah. But they still want a man. That, they still want a man. Uh, they still that, yeah. want that man because they right. say that even when an alpha female dates mm -hmm. a beta male, they eventually get bored with him. Yeah, they do. <laughs> because they don't want to keep telling you what to do. Yeah. But you know, I've heard many men tell me this. Many men say to me that men and women ultimately want to be happy with each other, yeah. but we don't necessarily want it the same way. Right. Women love to hear the words, I love you, I love you, I love you. But mm -hmm. men don't necessarily have to hear that. Men said, men have told me this many times that they'd rather have your loyalty and mm -hmm. they'd rather have your respect yeah. than hear it, I love you, I love you. Women mm -hmm. actually have to hear those words we, we have to we're so, more verbal so we have to that has to be that confirmation yeah, of that. We but have men to have, have to because he's, he's like and i was like i said well that is interesting mm -hmm. you don't need to hear that he says mm -hmm. not that i don't ever want to hear it but it's not the most important thing right the most important thing sense. to us is the respect right and the loyalty that you give us i, I feel like women have to kind of get out of their feelings just a mm -hmm. tiny bit when it comes mm -hmm. to this whole talk about men and women because Women can get hurt so bad when they hear about the psyche of a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, they get still ladies. They are wired completely different than we are, and the the sooner you know that, mm -hmm. and the sooner you understand that, ladies, I'm telling you, you're gonna be much more much more relaxed with with men mm -hmm. because they're just different than we are. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, like we 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 are more verbal. They're just yeah. more visual. I think that know? the the point of the question though yeah. is that it's not so sorry, much, I mean, it's not, off, but but I think it's more. I think what we're talking about here is more of the psychology yeah, of, men of men versus women. Yeah. You know what I mean? And how that works out, and can relationships work? And you know, because he's um, saying, can there be a balance in in a relationship or marriage if um if you are with someone that makes much more money than you. So I, he didn't say if a man makes more money or if a woman, you didn't write man or woman. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, we're just kind of give you both aspects of it. But I, I don't, I think that that is very, a, it'd be a very hard to balance a relationship if your man is making a ton less money than you. Yeah, and when you need a woman financially, you kind of turn us off. Yeah, agreed. That is so true. I know that's harsh to hear, and I know a lot of men but are probably going to get pushed back. Yeah. They'll be, oh, this is 2020, and, yeah, and yeah, the, the economy's yeah. bad, and we need, you know, but no, it's, yeah. again, not the money. It's, it's the, the mindset. mindset. Not the money. Mindset. The mindset. Think about it. You got to be going places. Okay, because... Look, I've I've dated men who are not making. Yeah, I can't be more of, ambitious than look, my husband. I have that's dated men who are happen. not making a lot of money, but they're so ambitious mm -hmm. and so attractive. They're holding it down. They don't tell me to reach my wallet to get mm -hmm. anything. But even though they're not making a lot of money, mm -hmm. the simple fact that they're so ambitious and they're yeah. doing something, they're going after it and trying to make it happen and not looking at me like, can you help me? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, that's what's up. Like, I love that. That's, yeah. to me, I feel like it's what's up. And then, yeah, I, you know, mm -hmm. I could, then I feel like I can just be, mm -hmm. the, I can be a woman. Yeah. And then that's going to make your life even better. When because I see, I'm especially good. black men, when I see black men owning companies, owning, because I mean, I know men who own man. construction businesses. I know men who own trucking businesses. Yeah. And that is so attractive yeah, to see too. men just sort of doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just sort of going after it. It is the most attractive thing, I think, mm -hmm. you for me anyway, you, that the, that a man can do is to not only make money, but then show how he is making it. Guys, um, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or any topics um, for us to uh, go over, give our 
thoughts on our opinions mm -hmm. um then just let us know i will put mm -hmm. up um you can put in the comments below mm -hmm. or i'll just put my email up here our, our email up here and you guys can just um uh write us let us know mm -hmm. that's it um don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and share hit the bell, hit the bell. and uh that's it so we shall see you I guess later this week. Do we do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See you Friday. See you Friday. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.